What is perseveration? It is one of the most common behavioral disorders associated with aphasia. It refers to the inappropriate continuation or recurrence of an earlier response after the task requirement has been changed. It can occur in three forms. The stuck in set variety. This is the inappropriate maintenance of a category or framework of response. I want you to point to your head, then to your feet. Next, I want you to point to the ceiling, then to the floor. The continuous variety. This is the inappropriate prolongation or continuation of a behavior without cessation. Ma'am, please write your address. The recurrent variety. This is the inappropriate occurrence of a previous response following the intervening presentation of a new stimulus. It is also the type most frequently encountered in aphasia. Please name the colors. Red. Green. Red. The recurrent variety can be further divided into two groups. The first is the semantic perseveration. This is the delayed recurrence of a whole word that is a previously produced response that may or may not be related to the target category. For example, Please name the pictures. Shoulder. Ankle. Shoulder. The second is the phonemic carryover. This is the immediate or delayed recurrence of a part of a word or phoneme. For example, Ready. Rick. Patients who show a moderate to severe degree of perseveration in confrontation naming may be good candidates for TAP. In order to determine severity of perseveration, a two-step procedure can be followed. Administer the BDAE confrontation naming subtest. Count the total number of items on which at least one perseverated response occurred. Multiple perseverations in one item are still counted as one. For example, Seven. Thirty-six. The patient made an error, but not a perseverative response. This is not counted as one. Seven. The patient made a perseverative response. This is counted as one. Seven. Thirty-six. The patient made two perseverative responses in one item. This is counted as one. Divide the number of items that elicited at least one perseverative response by 38. 38 is the total number of the BDA stimuli. The patient produced perseverative responses in 20 of the 38 items, earning a perseveration rating of 52.6%. Following the rating scale, the patient presents with a perseveration severity rating of 4. A rating of 3 or 4 can be considered candidates for the TAP program. Begin where the patient has the greatest chance of success and then proceed in small increments of difficulty. In order to identify the hierarchy of difficulty for the semantic categories, the clinician can use the results of the patient's performance on the BDAE confrontation naming subtest. Once you have determined the hierarchy and gathered your materials, you may administer the TAP program. Begin the initial session by explaining the TAP program to your patient. The TAP program employs several general strategies and 11 specific strategies. Now. Ma'am, I think you're stuck on that word. You've already said that before, and it's not appropriate now. That's called the perseveration. Be careful and try not to say that word again. Either give me a different word, or don't say anything at all. Ask for my help. Explain perseveration and give the patient examples of his or her perseveration throughout the program. Try to combine humor with forcefulness in pointing out perseverations so that the patient becomes sensitized to the errors but not frustrated by them or intimidated by the clinician. Running. Okay, that was the last item for actions. How are you doing so far, ma'am? I'm fine. Okay, would you like to take a break before we move on? No, it's okay. Ah, wonderful. We'll move on to the next category. Clearly establish each new set before offering a new stimulus. With some patients, it may be necessary to chat between items and categories or to engage briefly in nonverbal tasks such as a block design in order to avoid stuck-in-set types of perseveration. Door. You've said that word before, ma'am. It is incorrect for this item. 
When the patient is perseverating on a particular word during therapy, it may be effective to inform the client that he or she is perseverating. Door. Okay, I'm going to write it on a piece of paper and rip it, so as to serve as a reminder. Write the incorrect perseverative response on paper, and then rip the paper up and leave the pieces in the patient's field of vision as a reminder. Every time the patient begins to say this word again, point to the pieces quickly to help him or her inhibit the response. Window. And lastly, always monitor the presentation pace for the stimuli. Observe at least 5 second intervals between items. Here are several guidelines to follow when administering strategies. The 11 specific strategies of the TAP program are presented from minimal to maximal assistance. The clinician must determine the best of these strategies based on the client's performance. Time interval. Impose a 5 or 10 second interval between presentation of stimulus and patient's verbal response. I want you to think about what I'm going to show you for a few seconds. This helps the patient inhibit perseveration during these intervals. What is this? Telephone. Gestural cue. Provide a pantomime associated with the object. Ma'am, what is this? Telephone. Watch. Tactile cue. Ask the patient to hold or appropriately manipulate the real object. What is this? Watch. Ma'am, I want you to show me how to use this. Pen. Um, what is this? Pen. As soon as I recognize the item, tell me what it is. Drawing. Begin to draw a picture of the item while the patient looks on, asking him or her to tell you what it is as soon as he or she recognizes it. Fun. If this is not successful, then ask the patient to draw the item. Can you try drawing it? Part. Descriptive sentence. Provide a descriptive sentence for the stimulus. What is this? You wear it on your feet. Shoes. Sentence completion. Provide an open-ended sentence that might elicit the target word. What is this? Shoes. You hit the nails with a... Hammer. Graphic cue. Write the first letter or two of the word and ask the patient to identify it. Or ask the patient to complete the writing and then read it aloud. Ma'am, what is this? Hammer. Can you complete its name? Umbrella. Phonemic cue. Provide the initial phoneme of the target word. Ma'am, what is this? Umbrella. This is a... Table. Oral reading. Write the entire target word and ask the patient to read it aloud. Ma'am, what is this? Table. Name? Repetition. Say the word for the patient and ask him or her to repeat it. Ma'am, what is this? Knife. Please repeat after me. Bed. Bed. Unition speech or singing. Ask the patient to say or sing the word with you. Ma'am, what is this? Bed. I want you to say this with me. Ba. -ba tell. Tell. Okay, one more time. Ba. -ba tell. And here's how to score the patient's responses.